Hello, this is Comer Drent, and again, thank you for watching. <laughs> Finally, I have something that I can rant about. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, huge crit, kind of limited edition, yet you can buy from Amazon that will be released on November 8, 2060, across all platforms. So, <laughs> who are you getting here, and what's the fucking pricing? So, you're getting the standard game, so it's pay $60. Okay, okay, $60 sounds reasonable. With this collector edition, limited edition box, huge crate edition, you're getting a messenger bag, you're getting a Call of Duty beanie, you're getting Call of Duty <laughs> flashlight, <laughs> limited edition art cards, linear, and a pin, I think it's a pin. Yeah, is it? Is it a check? Yeah, pin badge. Phew, fucking great! You know how much this shit costs? Fucking nothing. You know how much this limited edition costs? One hundred and ten dollars. So for an edition of fifty fucking dollars, you're getting a, <laughs> a messenger bag, a beanie. A messenger bag is probably like five dollars. A beanie is five dollars. Flashlight five dollars. Limited edition art card two dollars. Linear maybe dollar to create. A pin budget maybe half a cent. To create all this shit because they make a package is probably all together maybe twenty dollars more. Maybe top when you, when it comes to a company that creates these kind of things. But selling it for a fucking fifty dollars that's just fucking ah. Uh, I just, I, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, finally I can rent about something. Who the hell makes those collector editions? Who the hell decides the price? It's a standard edition game you get in here. You don't get even the remaster edition of <laughs> Call of Duty <laughs> Modern Warfare. That's a fuck. That's, damn. You don't get, you get just basically the standard edition. Of the game that costs sixty dollars, you're paying additional fifty dollars for a bag, a beanie, a flashlight, limited art cards. This shit ain't gonna hold value at all. Those things are so easy to replicate for so much low cost that it's not even useful. It's not limited. It's not limited. You know how easy to buy a flashlight like this? It's maybe five dollars and just stamp it with Call of Duty and you have yourself a flashlight. You want a beanie, you know, just pin the Call of Duty logo as you see here for $5 and you have yourself a beanie. Messenger bag, those messenger bags don't cost crazy prices. This looks shit. This collector edition is shit. Don't fucking buy it. Don't waste your money on this. It's just crazy. I don't... Well, at least I did uh, have my rent day today. So that's kind of fun. But again, $110 really? The game itself may be shit, who knows? Fucking $110, I'm just baffled. You know what, $80, I understand this. Okay, $80 sounds reasonable, but $150, additional $50 for this? That ain't costing $50 when it comes to the value itself. I have just, I'll be honest, it ain't costing that money, it will definitely not hold value. There's nothing special here that is limited, hard to find. No! They make thousands of those and kids gonna be buying it. Damn! If you're a parent watching this, it ain't worth it. Wait maybe for like, game, buy the game itself as a standard edition. Wait a couple of months and you'll see this collector edition, you know, standing in the game stop, you know, selling for 20 bucks. Really, this, this is what's gonna happen with this collector edition. They, those things don't hold value no DLC no nothing to you know pump the value we are ten dollars crazy so that's my opinion that's my honest opinion Call of Duty November 8 2060 price tag of one hundred ten dollars <laughs> fucking ridiculous for a back a beanie a flashlight couple of cards linear and a pin badge really fifty dollars more crazy. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great and amazing day and I'll see you around.